Judy, you do this. All your money troubles will be over. Oh, don't Finito. say that. Oh, believe me, you will be financially secure for the rest mm. of your life. But this well, is everything we've worked but for. Won't people get tired of me? That's impossible. Mm -hmm. But you know, television cameras, they add 15 pounds, don't they? I mean, you think I'm too fat? Are you kidding? You look great. Never better. You really think so? <laughs> you're worried about it. You go on a diet. You lose a few pounds. Mm. It's all right for you to say. <laughs> You know, I'm the original stage fright kid. I, I, I'd be so scared. You've done television before. I know. And do you know what this means? This is all three networks bidding for a chance to put Judy Garland on weekly television. This, this is quite a comeback. Funny, I, I didn't know I'd gone away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darling, thank you. Oh, thank you, Freddie. <laughs> My boys. <laughs> He is a cousin of mine. <laughs> Just right, it was sensational. I mean, you're sensational. <laughs> I've been a fan of yours from way back. Oh, don't go too far back, darling. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I didn't mean to embarrass you. Oh, go on, embarrass me a little more, Mr. Heron. <laughs> just call me Mark. So, what is this play you're doing? Roger, why haven't you taken me to see it? Well, you name the day, sugar. I'll go any time. Where are you doing that? Uh, it's just a little theater downtown. Oh, small theater. Well, I'd love to see you, darling. I'd love you to come. <clears throat> oh, Roger. Yes. Well, uh, it's time to take this tired old broad home. I think so. <laughs> think these kids have lots to talk about. Brando's Dennis Lofts. Good night, Kate. Yeah. <laughs> you call me Mark. Okay, you take care of it. Good night, Judy. Yeah. Good night, you Roger. Good. good night. Judy, it was just great. Bye, buddy. Nice to meet you. Good, good night. night. <clears throat> uh, Make yourself comfortable. Do you want a drink? Yeah. <laughs> Do you realize how many people have talked about me, written about me? Told my children they know Judy Garland. They knew her when she lived in Transylvania. <laughs> I, I never believed anything the papers said about you. I'm outraged. Outraged at some of the things I've read about myself. It's affected me deeply. It's affected my work, my, my health, my children. Mm. Mm. They're great kids. Oh, they are, aren't they? Did, did they bother you? When you came tonight, were they pests? Are you kidding? <laughs> Lovely. Oh, what about Miss Liza Minnelli? Isn't she something? Oh, takes after her <laughs> mother. Well, she made her own choices. Brought my children up to be free. I was so little, you know, when I went into show business. <sighs> Did you always know you wanted to entertain people? Nobody ever asked me what I wanted. I, they just told me what to do, and I did it. I was too afraid not to. I, I need to think about it. I'll tell you one thing I discovered, though. Mm -hmm. And I knew this ever since I was little. I'm only really at home in the light of a spotlight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're 
terrible. <laughs> I wish they'd make up their mind about this TV show, though. Ah. Uh. The ratings stink. <clears throat> Smiling Cobra Aubrey, Mr. CBS. I keep telling him, don't put me in a shootout with the Ponderosa boys. I mean, they put me opposite Bonanza, for God's sake. But he won't listen. I've been summoned to the snake pit with all the cobras in training. Why don't you tell them to go to hell? I mean, you're Judy Garland. Oh, darling. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, God. Oh, God. I know she can seem difficult. She's as fragile and insecure as a child. But she's also one of the greatest talents any of us will ever get a chance to work with. Please keep that in mind. She needs to feel loved. If you do nothing else, make her feel that you love her. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm late. Scarlet? Oh, I get to uh, sit at the head of the table. How, how wonderful. Oh, thank you. Please, gentlemen, go on with what you were saying. I'm all ears. We were just saying how much we love you and how much we believe in the show. And whatever problems there may be, we believe they can be solved to everyone's satisfaction. Everyone, everyone loves you. Mm. But uh, here mm. are some of the mm. comments from the uh, mm -hmm. comment mm -hmm. cards. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> too nervous. Oh, well, you'd be nervous too if you were in my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Too much uh, touching of the guests. Excuse me? You touch people. Well, I certainly hope so. Physical touching. Don't do it. Uh, I'm a woman who wants to reach out and, and take 40 million people in her arms. Dinah Shore doesn't touch. Doesn't she? Mm. We have <clears throat> uh, this scale that measures how comfortable people feel having you in their homes. Mm -hmm. Now, on a scale of one to five, one being the most comfortable, mm. you rate it a four. Just so you know, Lassie is a one, consistently. <laughs> is it just me, or is this not the most preposterous? Am I, do I have to sit here and be subjected to this? This is all based on the most up-to-date Scientific research. Oh, scientific, huh? You know how I do my research? Right here, on my behind. If a performer stops me getting up from out of my chair to get some popcorn, that's all I need to know. Excuse me, excuse me, gentlemen. I don't hear anybody talking about the great reviews. We're very pleased with the reviews. The critics love you, as we do. But reviews don't necessarily translate into viewers. Wait a minute, wait just a minute. May I use the phone? Hey. Thank you. <clears throat> this will only take a minute, I, I, I promise. Hello, yes, I'm calling for the president. Yes, tell him it's Judy, Judy Garland. Thank you. I hate to interrupt him. Oh, hello, Jack. I, I, I know you're terribly busy. I just have one question for you. Did you watch the show this week? Oh, you did. Wonderful. Jackie, too. Darling, on a scale of one to five, one being the most comfortable, how comfortable would you feel having me in your home? Oh, a one. <laughs> a one, really. No, that, that's all I needed to... What now? Well, I, certainly. I, what, eight bars enough? All right. I'm a little hoarse. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I heard of once. In a lullaby. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Love to Jackie. Oh, very soon, I hope. Mm. Oh, goodbye. Bye. 
Very impressive, Judy. I'm not Lassie. I'm not even Diana Shore. If you want the girl next door, then go next door. The last I heard, this was still called the Judy Garland Show. Now, if you don't want Judy Garland, just tell me and I'll be on my way. Otherwise, gentlemen, I have a show to rehearse. The government attached to your uh, salary to pay back taxes from the 50s. Uh, if the show had another season, then you might have come out in the clear. Oh, the damn IRS! What about at Leopold and Lowe? They owe me plenty. Beagleman claims that after expenses, uh, there wasn't anything left. You'll have to uh, sue for your money. He says you fired him more than once. Why didn't he listen to me the first time? Dear Miss Garland, didn't have the guts to keep a quality show like yours on television. You may resume touching people. Should you 